Number 9. Skyland Towers, Istanbul, Turkey, 284 meters. Istanbul's unique and modern skyline tower is located in the middle of the two modern areas of the city, Levin and Maslak, in one of the most developed parts of the European part of Istanbul. It is one of Istanbul's most beautiful and tallest towers with 10,000 square meters of green space and garden. The Skyland project has residential, office, commercial, and five-star hotel units overlooking the Belgrade Forest and a very luxurious shopping center in the northern European part of Istanbul in the Sarayer district. This complex, located near the Turk Telecom Stadium, has a special route to enter the main theme highway that passes by it. Also, the subway station built next to this complex provides fast and cheap access to Skyland residents to all parts of the city. With a 360-degree view of Istanbul's dream city, a collection of modern restaurants and cafes, the Istanbul Wadi Luxury Shopping Mall, and convenient urban access, Skyland makes this project one of the best choices for living, doing business, and investing. Living in any part of this huge commercial residential site provides you with a different but luxurious and comfortable experience from the highest standards of urban life in the world today. Number 8. Capital City Moscow Tower, Moscow, Russia, 301 meters. Capital City is a part of an ambitious redevelopment area north of Moscow's historical center, Moscow City. The 300,000 square meter project consists of two towers of 62 and 73 stories, preceded by a conical dome. These major volumes are connected by a four-story base and an urban, publicly accessible landscape on top of the base, enabling visitors to choose different interconnected routes to and through the scheme. The commercial and leisure program occupies the lower four stories and includes department stores, restaurants, and fitness facilities. The following 14 stories of the tower and the full dome are mainly commercial, including offices and a congress center. All upper stories of the towers accommodate apartments of various layouts and sizes. To visually reduce the scale and mass of the towers, the overall form is non-orthogonal and twisted in plan to create slender silhouettes. This transgression is also apparent within the facade geometry, with the emphasis on the lower stories changing from vertical to horizontal towards the top of the towers. Due to the continually changing spatial relation between the outer facade and the fixed and pragmatic layout of the vertical core, every floor plan is different. To maintain maximum flexibility between the core and facade and the cantilevering and the cantilevering floor plans, the structure is accommodated principally within the perimeter, reducing internal columns to a minimum. Therefore, the capital city towers are an intelligent and striking variation on repetitive, non-contextual high-rises, offering the highest comfort and individual living. 7. Eurasia Tower, Moscow, Russia, 308 meters. The 72-story tower, Russia's first mixed-use steel tower, is located within the new 30 million square feet, 148-acre Moscow International Business Center, or Moscow City. The complex and the tower are based on the futuristic development standards of a world-class financial center and intermodal hub. Using the best of the 21st century's innovative technologies, the center was designed to rival those of New York City and London and be one of the most desirable locations in Russia and Europe. At the time of its opening, it was designated the fourth tallest skyscraper in Europe by Emporis, the international provider of building data. Eurasia Tower is 1,013 feet high. Within it are 50 floors of Class A office space and 20 floors of luxury residential apartments within their own gymnasium and pool on the 50th floor. The tower sits on a retail and entertainment podium that includes boutiques, restaurants, bars, a 149-room hotel, and parking. The unitized curtain wall allows the transition from the office floors of fixed windows to operable windows on the residential floors. The overall architectural form is developed as a pure glass, curving curtain wall tower with its broad faces versus its tripartite ends sitting on a multi-volume podium. Number 6. The Shard, London, 
United Kingdom, 309 meters. Towering 1,016 feet above London, the Shard is the tallest building in Great Britain, standing almost as high as New York's Chrysler Building. Designed by architect Renzo Piano, this graceful skyscraper has dominated the city's skyline since it opened in 2013. The Shard comprises of offices, restaurants, a five-star hotel, and some of the most sought-after residential apartments in London. The view from the Shard has become one of the city's most popular tourist attractions thanks in part to the panoramic views of the London skyline offered from its outdoor viewing platform on the 72nd floor. When the weather is clear, visitors can see for miles in every direction. On those frequent days when low cloud shrouds the UK capital, the Shard's piercing spire is isolated above a sea of white. Fortunately, tickets are sold with a view guarantee if you can't see at least three landmarks during your visit, most notably the London Eye, the Walkie Talkie Building, the Tower Bridge, One Canada Square, and St. Paul's Cathedral, you'll be issued a free pass to return when visibility improves. Number 5. Mercury City, Moscow, Russia 338 meters. Mercury Tower is the most remarkable skyscraper in the Moscow City complex. It can rightfully be hailed as the gold of the city, not only thanks to its golden color, but also because of its interior components. It offers unique advantages with regard to business, comfortable living, and memorable pastimes. The tower houses an art space, which can be described as an area of free artistic expression. It also plays host to events such as conferences, formal receptions, gala dinners, weddings, parties, fashion shows, photo and video shoots, performances, science seminars, TV shows, and much more. Located near the Moscow International Business Center in Moscow, Russia, the mixed-use building was commissioned in August 2013. With an estimated investment of $1 billion, the tower was designed by Frank Williams and Partners Architects and developed by LLC Race & Stroy, a company based in Moscow. The first 40 floors of the building have space for offices and the remaining top-level floors feature apartments. The total floor space of the building is about 180,160 square meters, including 90,000 square meters for office purposes, 20,000 square meters for apartments, and about 19,000 square meters of garage space. Number 4. Neva Towers, Moscow, Russia, 345 meters. Neva Towers is the flagship project of the Renaissance Holding. The complex consists of two towers, 68 and 79 floors, united by a stylobate. On the roof is a park terrace for apartment owners with a panoramic pool and an open-air jacuzzi. The main function of the complex is residential. Only 26 floors of one of the towers are offices, a shopping gallery, restaurants, and cafes are designed in the stylobate part. The advantageous location of the skyscrapers provides unique panoramic views. When developing the concept of the Neva Towers, the architects, the American Bureau HOK, and the famous Russian Bureau speech under the direction of Sergei Tichiban were inspired by classic New York skyscrapers in the Art Deco style. As a result, the glass facades of the towers were decorated in the form of pylons made of light stone, which emphasized the monumentality of the building. Neva Towers is located in the center of Moscow, six kilometers from the Kremlin, in the iconic Moscow City Quarter. The location of the complex combines a premium address for living in the center of events and business activity. The complex also includes a business center, which occupies 26 floors of one of the towers, and premium offices and townhouses in a private park on the roof of the Stylobate. Neva Towers became the first project from Russia to receive the Best International title at the Best International Awards. Number 3. Oko Residential Tower, Moscow, Russia, 354 meters. This project is part of the thriving Moscow City, a mixed-use district centrally located within the sprawling Russian metropolis and loosely based on London's Canary Wharf and Paris's La Defense. The complex comprises of an 85-story skyscraper and a 49-story office tower connected at the base by a transparent crystalline structure. The massive development includes luxury residences, premium office space, a four-star hotel, parking, and extensive green space. The elegant towers gradually taper away from each other as they stretch upward. 
with glass curtain walls that possess varying degrees of translucency, clarity, and reflectivity. A new private road bisects the site, creating a pedestrian promenade with access to both towers, landscaped paths, and plazas knit together the building shops and restaurants. A continuous strip of parkland and plazas along the project's southern edge provides a much-needed amenity for the increasingly high-density zone. The Greenway, the only one in Moscow City, offers generous drop-off areas for the residential tower and hotel, as well as pocket groves of indigenous trees and open lawns for public use. Number 2. Federation Tower, Moscow, Russia, 373 meters. Federation Tower is a complex consisting of two skyscrapers, the 63-story Tower West and the 97-story Tower East on Lot 13 of the Moscow International Business Center in Moscow. The two towers stand on the same mixed-use plinth. The most recognizable high-rise landmark in Moscow, the tower, has a memorable silhouette in the form of two glass sails that face one another. The Federation Tower complex ascends to 374 meters and was recognized as the tallest skyscraper in Europe in 2017. The design is based on the concept of the vertical city, which was realized here for the first time in the history of modern Russia. Russia. Each of the towers has a combination of office and residential floors interspersed with sports and entertainment functions. The six-story plinth likewise has offices and a shopping gallery. The basis of the foundations of the Federation Tower Complex is a massive concrete slab. Both buildings rely for their stability on a mighty concrete core whose walls are 1.5 meters thick at the base, as well as on 25 perimeter volumes extending all the way through the towers, from the foundations to the top stories. Each column has a base measuring 2 by 1.4 meters. Every 25 to 30 stories, there are outrigger stories made from high-strength steel structures. The facades have been glazed using the very latest glazing systems. The surface of the glass reflects the sun's rays while preserving the optimum temperature in the building. In terms of density, the glass comes close to the thermal performance of a brick wall. Number 1. Lakata Center, St. Petersburg, Russia, 462 meters. Sitting 462 meters tall, the Lakata Center is the tallest building not just in Russia, but in Europe and will serve as the headquarters for global energy giant Gazprom. The multifunctional complex is situated along the coast of the Gulf of Finland and has become an architectural centerpiece within St. Petersburg's Central Business District. The 330,000 square meter complex includes commercial office space and retail, leisure, and residential developments, all situated on a 17-hectare brownfield site and offers a car park with a vehicle capacity of 2,000. The tower's organic spire shape symbolizes the power of water, while the standout glass facade allows the building to change color depending on the sun's position, giving the impression of a living object. The building's design incorporates several innovative efficiency features, including an intelligent glass facade that provides natural ventilation, thermal insulation, and specially designed microclimate air conditioning. 16,500 pieces of curved glass were used for the facade of the building, the largest volume of glass ever used on a high-rise building. The tower incorporates 90 floors, 87 elevated, and 3 underground, with a total of 34 elevators placed throughout for ease of mobility. Construction began in 2012 with the pouring of concrete for the foundation taking place in 2015. Roughly 20,000 cubic meters of concrete was poured into the building's foundation and was done within a 49-hour period, enough to earn it a Guinness World Record for the longest continuous pour of concrete. Amazing, right? Well, that's it for today. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.